Welcome everybody. Day nine. Day nine. Plans and attachments. This one, this one's a big one. This one's a big one for a lot of us, myself included. Plans and attachments. When we have plans, we have expectations. When we have attachments, we have expectations. When we have expectations, if it doesn't go the way that we had planned, it's hard to let go of. When it doesn't go the way we have planned, there's worry, there's stress, there's fear, there's anxiety, there's all these things that we feel are out of our control. And they're out of our control because we place them in something that we don't really need to be involved with anyway. All things outside, all things outside, no, no, no. When I have something planned that needs to go a specific way and if it doesn't, all hell breaks loose. Think of this. Think of that. You're gripping, 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 gripping the whole time that you have this goal, the whole time that you have this journey in mind for yourself. And the universe is like, I'm going to give you exactly what you are asking for energetically. And you're like, huh? What do you mean? I'm asking for X, Y, Z, but I got A, B, C. You received A, B, C. I received A, B, C. Because yes, all the while I was thinking about X, Y, Z, energetically, I was telling myself ABC. But we get all confused about this. We get all bent out of shape. We get all pushed off track because it didn't go exactly the way that we planned. Right? Instead of becoming available and opening up to the infinite amount of possibilities that may arise. My journey to the NFL was nothing like I had planned. I didn't attach myself to a specific goal because injuries came up, because uh, I didn't have any control over coaches. I didn't have any control over how many times I got to touch the football. I didn't have any control over the... All I had control over was how hard I worked and the vision that I kept in my mind. Eventually, I got to a place where I stopped gripping and I just let go. I started to enjoy the game more. I started to, 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 to have epiphanies about like, oh, wow, I now can understand how these parallels run sports and life, right? There are these, these tracks that run parallel with one another. Now, beyond all the negative experiences that I had while playing, and am paying for now in the way of injuries and in the way of um, of uh, pharmaceuticals, which again, it's my own responsibility. What I put into my body is my responsibility. Now, I know that now, right? But when the goal and the plans and the attachments are there, you do what needs, needed to be done to get to that end result. And then you get to that end result and it's like, oh, what is it all about anyway? I got here and it's not what I expected. Ooh. I'm not as happy as I thought I'd be. I have the house, the car, the, the, the family, the things that society tells me that I have that are important and that are a success. And yet I feel empty inside. And that's how I felt. I felt this giant void inside because I wasn't truly listening to myself, to my heart. It, it had everything to do with everything outside of me. And I didn't want to do that anymore, but I didn't know how at the time. I didn't know anything about meditation. I didn't know anything about visualization, even though I had been doing both of these things, unbeknownst to me. I didn't know anything about yoga. I didn't know anything about the, the study of self. I knew nothing, or I believed I knew nothing. And then in that first meditation, that moving meditation, that first yoga class that I took, where I couldn't go anywhere but inwards. And I had to ask myself the tough questions. And it was a struggle back and forth. My ego and I struggled for many years before the ego finally said, the conscious mind finally said, oh, you're really not gonna give up on this, are you? <laughs> it's like what we're doing now through repetition all the unnecessary stuff falls away and if in your mind you're you, there's a voice that's saying yeah 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 right right that's but i'm a realist 
keep going because that voice will get quieter and quieter and quieter and quieter and eventually it will just shut up because you are the one that's directing the show. You are the one that's directing this journey. And that's why it's always a blessing to come back here where it all started. For me, personally, it holds a special place, this still space. So without further ado, let's jump in. And as the theme would have it, I don't have a plan. There is no meditative plan. Well, we got to hit this at this num- this minute. We have to talk or touch on this. All these that I do are free flow. I, I trust that whatever's meant to be said on the day is meant to be said on the day. Energetically, what's meant to be um, uh, expressed is meant to be expressed. This has been, that's, that's been a practice of mine for years now. And It's taken a lot of letting go. It's taken a lot of the need to micromanage out. And I gotta tell you, it's, it's so freeing because I have to believe in myself in order to be able to do it. In order for these, this uh, stream of consciousness to, to freely happen, I have to let go of plans. I have to let go of any attachments. And so we're gonna dive into it right now. The freedom. <laughs> Close your eyes. Get comfortable. And as you settle in, as you shift your body around, as you get all the extra movement out, I want you to think about that idea of right now, you and I, I, we don't know where we're headed. We're headed in a direction. Each one of us individually going in a different direction. And I'm putting all of my faith in the fact that by the time you're listening to this, whatever is said, whatever direction is given is needed for when that happens. We are so much more powerful. Our minds are so much more powerful than we realize, than our conscious mind would like to realize. Take a few deeper inhales and exhales. Calm and relaxed. I am calm and relaxed. You say that mantra to yourself. I am calm and relaxed. I am calm and relaxed. You place a hand right across your heart. Maybe both. Calm and relaxed. Calm and relaxed. and relaxed. And as you really start to settle into your seat, as you start to settle into, if you're laying down, you're laying down, wherever you are physically, as you start to settle in, notice where your body is and the space around your body. Take a moment. Very clear about your body in space. Now relax the muscles of your face as we always do. Forehead, eyes, release. Lower jaw, tongue, relaxed. Now you let that move down the body like we always do. Down the entire body, the neck, relaxed. The arms, the full length of them, calm. Go directly to the center of your palms. And as they rest against your heart, I want you now to go to that space. Get so focused right now that you, the attempt, here is to feel your own heartbeat. Become so still that initially where there was nothing, now there's a and 
what started out as being very subtle now is very strong. That's the drumbeat of your life. That is the essence of power that is vibrating out into the world. All the energy that you put forth coming from right here. And noticing if your mind drifted someplace else, if it did, bring it back, bring it back right here, that heartbeat. Send a few conscious inhales and exhales to the space. This hasn't opened up this energetic area. If this hasn't, if this hasn't sparked interest in your energetic space here, the vibrations we're about to bring to this area will. Now there are different vowels that we can use. These vibration of our vocal cords that go to specific places in our body and when we do a h ah something like ah, that vibrates directly in the center where our hands are now if you did the vibration meditation a few days ago with me it's very similar instead of hum it's Always be on the exhale. Now, if your mind gets caught up in, oh, I'm not a great singer. This isn't about singing. Uh, this doesn't sound right. Doesn't matter if it's higher or lower than me. Doesn't matter if we're on the same pace. Doesn't matter if you're ahead and I'm behind. It doesn't matter. There is no behind. There is no ahead. So from this very relaxed space, all I want you to focus on is your breath as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, and this sound is always gonna be on the exhale, okay? So priming the lungs, just a few deeper breaths in, and down. breath in. The sound A-H. vibration wherever you happen to be feeling it with your hands no force no rush
to get your own, the sound might change. Stay focused, stay present, keep going. positive vibrations out into the world. Keep going. All the confidence, joy, happiness. think about it, just do it. As loud or as soft as you like, keep going. views in this one. Just breathe naturally in and out through the nose. In and out. And 
can feel the warmth of your hands against your chest, the heart beating against that chest. Nothing else exists, no time, no space, no force, no mind. And in this state, and with the primary use of these vibrations and using our voice as a meditative instrument is now your mind is vibrating at a very low wavelength. Wide open, your subconscious, wide open. And so now you're gonna fill it. You're gonna fill your subconscious mind with images, with sounds, with tastes, with sights, with touch, with feelings. You're gonna fill it up with all your needs, desires, goals. Like we do every single day with needs, goals, desires that have already been met. They're not outside of you. They're not somewhere out there. They're right here, right now. So tell me, tell yourself, what do you see? Where are you? What colors are there? Are you looking from outside of yourself or is it first person? Are you standing there viewing wherever it is you are? Are there smells involved with where you are? Is there a person with you? Are there people with you? Is there laughter? Is there crying? Is there eyes that you're staring into? What is it? I need you to be there right now as real as wherever your legs, as real as whatever chair you're in, it's as real as your legs cross, it's as real as the smells you're smelling right now. Go, go there. See it, feel it, embody it, go. emotions that you're experiencing right now, you're aware of them. Your conscious mind, your subconscious mind, dumping all this positivity, not only into the, into the subconscious, but down into the heart. In fact, this is where we're leading from. And again, as you move through this day, you remember this doesn't have to have been the same visuals, the same images, the same videos in your mind. Every day can be new. But you carry them with you as momentum, moving in and out of each moment, each moment, each moment, each moment, each moment. And if you're ready, you bring your awareness back to your hands, your heart. As always, thanking yourself so much gratitude for yourself, for your physical body, for working, for your energetic body, for being here, and for you being able to direct all of it. So much gratitude. Take a moment. And moving through the rest of the day, no plans, no attachments. Wide open to everything and anything comes up. The all-knowing. That's you. So we'll seal this together. Deep breath into the nose. And let it go through the mouth. The hands release. 
<clears throat> the eyes open up. And we're back. It always feels like, at least for me, we're coming back from a journey. Because it is a journey in many ways. It is a journey, and each time we sit, it's something new. At least, that's been my experience. It's something new, and it's more reaffirming, more reassurance that this work is powerful work. This work is important work. This work is everything. Imagine the energetic state if every single person sat at the same time on this planet. You don't think the energetic fields of this earth would change, would shift dramatically. But it starts with each one of us. It starts with me, it starts with you. And you're adding to that positive uplift, right? That we all need. We all think it's out there. It's right here, right here, right here, right here. So I'm thanking you as always. So, so much um, appreciation, so much gratitude as always. And I'm bowing in thanks. Very excited to see you tomorrow. Have an amazing day.